I grew up as a military kid, starting out in Brooklyn, New York. I uh, traveled to Tennessee, Oklahoma, Italy. Um, it, it's, it's been an experience for me, just, just traveling all over the world. Um, I, I come from be not humble beginnings, but I come from a family with a mother and a father who focus so much on family, service, uh, spirituality, God, and, and morality as well. There's a few things that they've always taught me, which was accountability, integrity, and having good character. And then also having uh, goals, short-term and long-term goals. So growing up, um, being a military kid, uh, experiencing new schools every so often, experiencing new people every so often, um, is really the thing that prepared me for being at Tennessee Tech University. So the person that helped me the most while I was at Tech was Mark Burnett. Um, I'm giving away my age a little bit, but uh, you know, 2022 is gonna make 30 years since I stepped on this campus. Um, and it was off and on. There were spans of time that I was in school. There were spans of time that I was out of school. Life just happened to me. Um, starting a family and leaving school behind, but then eventually coming back to to finish. Mark Burnett was the primary catalyst for that. And I remember graduating, walking across the stage, and he was, after shaking President Odom's hand, he was the first person that was, that, that was there to give me a big hug. And it was just kind of symbolic of everything. He was the first ad advisor, authoritative figure that I met on campus, and he's technically the last one that I was in contact with as I crossed over into being a graduate. Uh, he definitely motivated me and was definitely the biggest influence on getting my degree. So Tech prepared me for the career that I have now as a director of a nonprofit child advocacy uh, program by the, all of the various people that I met. That's the biggest thing about my job. I'm meeting various people and the interactions that I had with uh, students on a daily basis, with instructors on a daily basis, with advisors on a daily basis. Having that, um, that, that sense of being able to speak to people and being articulate when I communicate, so the communication factor, that's what helps me. Because in my daily job, I deal with volunteers, I deal with uh, my coordinators that, that work in the respective counties that I facilitate as well as judges, as well as lawyers for these children who are abused and neglected. So my, my degree in interdisciplinary studies, which is psychology and business, it really prepares me for some of the psychological things that I have to encounter on a daily basis. Um, and also the leadership aspect, being able to follow so many leaders that we've had here, um, the guys like Mark Burnett, even uh, President Odom, uh, these are all people that are my mentors and that have um, been around and kind of cultivated me to the point to where I actually graduated. Uh, they were some of the ones that, that influenced me and that I learned from uh, to become a leader. And I believe that that's what I'm projecting with my job now. So my experiences with equality, uh, diversity, um, you have to understand at the time that I started going to Tennessee Tech in 1992, there were maybe only 400 black students out of 11,000, or maybe at the time, barely 10,000. As it grew and the numbers grew, it's, it, with the numbers grew with the amount of, of students that were here, the number of minority students started to shrink. So I definitely knew that I was um, a fish out of water in terms of diversity, in terms of not seeing a lot of like faces, because many of the black students that we had here would go home on the weekends. So I had a situation where I could either make it work um, as, as a person of color who was going to adapt and survive, or I was going to be someone who was a person of color that was going to adapt and succeed. There's a big difference between the two. When you start thinking about ad adapt and survive, you feel like it's a struggle. But when you adapt and succeed, you're taking it as a, as a learning, learning moment. And it was probably the best thing for me. I think about often if I'd have gone to a historically black college or university, how comfortable I might have been. And there were moments here at Tennessee Tech where I was very uncomfortable. And instead of running, retreating, 
I soaked that in and learned from it. And I think that that's what helps me in my, in my day to day uh, with, with work, leadership, um, and, and interaction with, with people of different, different walks of life. So Tennessee Tech was a good fit for me because, as I mentioned, it, it, it was an opportunity for me to step away and go from a boy to a man. Uh, there was no bigger obstacle that I had to face be, um, coming here as a 18 year old and growing into a, well, by the time I graduated, 39 year old, but uh, no bigger transition from growing into a boy to a man than to have that diversity, uh, uh, that, that diversity um, uh, missing uh, people that had like faces like me, um, not seeing them and learning how to get along with people that were different from, from me. Also, the biggest thing that I had a problem with was time management. Time management was so horrible for me in, in high school because I could pretty much do whatever I wanted to. Um, but here, if you don't have time management down, then you definitely will not succeed. So these are some of the things that helped me grow into the person that I, that I, uh, that I am now. And it's, it's all because of Tennessee Tech University. And what I would encourage other people, um, my encouragement to other people or influence to other people is if you're looking for an opportunity to be you in a situation where you have to be you or you will not succeed, this is the university that you need to be at.